Hello everyone, my name is Minghui and I'm a science educator from the Science Centre Singapore. Together with me, I have Niu Xiaoyun from Untamed Paths. Now Xiaoyun, tell me why have you brought me all the way here to this Ulu place in far away from civilization. This morning, we're at Changi Beach Car Park 6. We're a bit further than Changi Airport and Changi Village. And we're here today to do an intertidal walk to see what creatures we can find. What is it about this place that is special? Are there anything rare or interesting about the animals here? Right. The intertidal zone is actually any area of the beach that's exposed when the tide recedes. So with some skills and luck, you can actually find lots of creatures. Creatures could be swimming out into sea or they could be hiding under seagrass. Some of the creatures you can see are actually crabs, fish, um, sea cucumber, sea star. Sometimes you also have a rare charismatic marine creatures such as rays, cuttlefish and squid. Before we head down, what should we be equipped with to handle the environment down there? I have with me my army boots. I am ready for any environment. You are indeed ready for any environment. Actually, you just need any covered footwear. My boots are quite simple, they're just water shoes. Or you can wear fishmonger boots, um, yeah, army boots are fine. All you need to do is just to protect your toes from getting any injuries when you're doing intertidal exploration. Nice! I also have a bucket to carry stuff to put some animals inside. Right, this is what we don't need. Actually, the animals are happy, um, you know, just being burrowed uh, in the sand or just swimming. And you can actually do a very rich intertidal exploration just by watching them in their environment. Um, additionally, actually putting them in buckets can create, uh, can go wrong in a few ways. One, you might not know, but some creatures have prey-predator relationship, so they might stress each other out. And putting too many animals in a bucket raises the water temperature and it actually creates stress for everything that's inside. So Sherry, why don't you tell the audience what the do's and don'ts about doing an intertidal walk here? Actually, let me show you to the NPARKS advisory. Before you start walking, you can actually look um, at the advisory that NPARKS has laid out here. I would really encourage everyone to go with a trained guide when you are doing exploration but also you can read about some basic facts about the marine creatures that you see before going. That will make for a much richer experience but also minimise your damage while you're doing your exploration. Let's go! Okay. We have a variety of wildlife here. First up, we have, you know, the very charismatic Nobly Sea Star. I also introduced them as a chocolate chip sea star. Sea stars are very interesting. They are um, symmetrical five ways. Sometimes if you see a six arm sea stars, you'll notice that the arms are also like placed around symmetrically, evenly mm. apart. Sea star doesn't have brains actually. Each of the arms have decentralized decision-making powers. So each of them can sense where the food is, can smell it, and they can decide where to go. This is a moon crab. Can you see actually it's really round? All of their feet are very flattened for very good swimming. And the back two feet especially is great for burrowing itself in the, in the sand. So this is very different feet from the usual, let's say, flower crab that we see because those are very sharp, kind of like walking feet. I would say that the moon crab's general strategy, right, is either to burrow itself or to stay very still. Versus the flower crab, if we ever see it, they are trying to scuttle away. So maybe that's why the feet are kind of different. How long does it take for the waters to actually recede to expose this patch of land? It takes about two hours time. Oh, watch where you're going. Right, right here we have actually a carpet anemone. If you didn't tell me what it was or where it is, I would have stepped on it. But it actually is quite exposed. The only issue is that it's the colour of the other sea grasses. The carpet anemone is one animal. Um, it's typically rooted to the ground, like a plant. But if they feel like the environment here is not great, like the water is getting a bit polluted, they can uproot themselves at high tide and float away with the waves to somewhere else and they will root themselves back in the ground. This is garlic bread. No, it's actually a sea cucumber. Although, yes, we call it the garlic bread sea cucumber. Um, I can see why. Because of all the folds on it. Um, actually, the sea cucumber, they are actually related to sea stars as well. This material, some people have said plastic. This is actually the moon snail's egg sac. We saw the moon snail just now, it was really round. So the mother moon snail actually sits in the centre. They lay its eggs around it in the sand and then she kind of glues it all together with her saliva, making this structure. So this is many, many, many tiny eggs that are glued together? This is actually, you know, thousands of eggs because oh, wow. each egg is actually smaller than a pinhead. The moon snail babies that come out are supposed to probably 
very small as well. Now I'm sure this is not a moon snail egg. No, this is actually the thorny sea cucumber. The thorny sea cucumber is one of two pink sea cucumbers that we have. Mm -hmm. So actually this is a good specimen. You can actually see the five part symmetry that makes yes, it yes. the relative of the sea star. This is actually the what we call worm poop of the acorn worm. The acorn worm's body is actually here. And as it moves through the sand and tries to eat the things that are living in the sand, it actually poops up the other way. So what are these round, round, kind of like coin looking things here? For them, the sand dollars. I can see why. So sand dollars, they, are, they can get really big, you know, like this big. And um, they are actually also relatives of sea stars. Over here, we're looking at the sand dollar trails actually. Yeah, so can you see this sand dollar has moved this way and it's here. And for this one, it's moved this way and has ended up here. Why do you make an effort to pick up rubbish from the, from the beach? Actually, we do this because the rubbish can be mistaken for food by animals. Mm. And when the marine creatures eat the rubbish, they get a false sense of fullness. Then they stop hunting for other food that actually nourishes them. Actually, they can die from that. Or, or they can die from having too much plastic in their stomachs. Wow, that was a frankly very amazing walk into our intertidal zone. Now, Sharin, are there any other places in Singapore where we can see wildlife like this? Actually, we have lots of natural gems. In terms of terrestrial, you can check out not just Bukit Timah and Macritchie, but also the lesser known parks such as Tampines Eco Green, Jurong Lake Gardens and Windsor Nature Park. That's amazing! Now, I have a great idea. Why not you pair up your animal spotting adventures with one of our young scientist badges? There is the bird team ornithologist badge, there is the bug team entomologist badge. And what we did today can count into the young ecologist or the young marine biologist badge. Now, before we close off, are there any closing words for everyone, Xiaoyin? Yeah, actually I hope that everyone has returned with a better idea of the etiquette when exploring our intertidal zones. Finally, the Untamed Pulse was founded on a spirit of adventure, curiosity and immersive experiences with our biodiversity. So if you like what you saw today, keep connected with us on our socials, we are on Facebook and Instagram. Or better yet, be a trained facilitator with us, you can spark the curiosity in your own participants. Thank you, Sharon, for this very amazing walk today. Now, I hope everyone has a new curiosity to come and look at all the stuff that we can find in our intertidal areas. But remember, take nothing but memories, leave nothing but footprints. And this is Minghui signing off. Everyone remember, stay curious, stay untamed. <laughs>